Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I have another quick collection to show you for the day. This one is another um, Wet n Wild All Access Beauty display that's out right now. It comprises itself of four polishes and two of the Mega Slicks um, balm stains. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. I went ahead and just picked up the balm stains along with the polish so I could just show you what the whole display looks like. So we're gonna start with the balm stains actually. Um, I have one of them on my lips today. It's kind of, it's called Tangerine and Tribal. I don't think I'd call it Tangerine actually. Um, let me give you a good swatch of it here. This is what it looks like. It's definitely, I'd say it's more of a bright pinky coral, not really Tangerine. But anyway, um, this is what it looks like on the lips and it's very, it is actually a little bit minty. Like it does give you that little tiny bit of that tingling feeling, nothing like those Buxom glosses. So I think that these balm stains are pretty budget friendly option to some of the more expensive um, chubby sticks. Whew, couldn't get that word out. So um, I don't know about the long wearability. I have noticed that, um, I mean, for example, let me try to wash this off my hand. I mean, it does have some staining quality. This is without using any um, any kind of, you know, cosmetic remover or anything. So it does have some staining quality, so I do like that. Um, it is really, really creamy, so it seems like it would probably move up quite a bit during the day. But anyway, if you were looking for a very um, budget-friendly option, that's a good one. And they also include another color in there that is actually... So side by side, this is the one I just showed you, and then this is the other one. So definitely more pink, more maybe more rosy, and then this one's more pink, but I definitely still don't think this is tangerine. So the second one is called Festival Fashionista, and hmm, I'm going to put the other one back on so you can see what they look like next to each other. Okay, so here's the first one I showed you, and then this is Festival Fashionista. So they are kind of similar, but um, this one definitely is more of a red than this one is a pink, even though they're both pinks. This one is a reddier one. So anyway, that's what those look like, and those are retailing for $2.99 on that display. So I would say wait and get a sale on those, but they're limited edition, so they might just disappear really quickly. And I actually think there was only like two of each one on the display that I saw yesterday. And that was the first time I saw it yesterday. So this might be just brand new out. I saw mine at Walgreens. Okay, so in the same display, they have these four polishes. And so let's go ahead and start with probably my least favorite. Um, this one is so pretty. It's called Gypsy Green. So there's a dash between Gyp and C. So it's like Gypsy. But it's super super sheer it's definitely a jelly polish um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this swatches it's very sheer at two coats still so maybe this one would be really good for doing some um, jelly sandwiches with but I loved this color so I was really hoping that it was gonna be a cream polish and show up this color on the nail but it doesn't quite so anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the swatch Alright, so the next one that they included is called Ferris Wheel, and there's, oh, excuse me, Ferris Dash Wheel Romance, Ferris Wheel Romance, and this one, um, I actually really did like this one, it's kind of a little bit like a salmon color, it's a salmon pink, um, this does get opaque in two coats, and I did enjoy um, the twist on the pink on this one, that it wasn't completely baby pink, I did like that they mixed it up a little bit, so let's take a look at the swatch.
All right, so the other one that is opaque in two coats is called Chambray Showers, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's with a CH is how it starts, Chambray. And this one is a lovely sky blue, super bright. They're really hitting it out of the park with their blues right now, this uh, Wet n Wild Shine line. I think they're doing a great job with their blues. This one is another great one. I didn't have any problems with formula, and yeah, super gorgeous. If you pick up any, any of them, I'd say pick up this one. And so last up they have this one called Spitfire. That name sounds familiar. I don't know if this one is a re-promote. I'll tell you here if it is or not. But um, this one is a nice bright orange. This one is definitely more of a Corelli formula. It's not really a cream. I was afraid it wasn't going to get opaque enough in two coats. But I think I got it okay in two coats. It's not as sheer as that first green that I showed you. So, um... You know, not really my favorite. I have other oranges that I prefer to this one probably, but it's just nice, bright, uh, like a kind of a carrot orange. So let's take a look. So that was the whole collection. What did you guys think? I mean, for 99 cents, those polishes do a pretty good job. If you were just looking to pick up something new and you really don't have much um, in your budget right now, this might be a great option. It gives you some lip colors and some polishes, kind of twist things up for the end of August. Definitely a summer collection in my opinion, so they're just trying to ride out the summer a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think definitely, as I said, um, this blue one is my favorite, and then probably the uh, Salmon Pink uh, Ferris Wheel Romance is my next favorite. And then the Balm Stings, um, well, I haven't worn the darker ones, so, but I did really like them. So anyway, that's my feelings on it. Why don't you let me know in the comments below if you've seen this collection yet, if you're planning on picking any of them up. And I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you back next time. Bye!